Come on, watch off. Oh. We can't well, there's nowhere else to go. Chloe will let her waiting for this slow coach. I hate, thank you. I had things to do. Anyway, I'm here now. So go on, what's been said? They've given us nothing. She's refusing to respect our authority. Reckons we're all hypocrites. And while she may have a point, that's not the point. Well, yes, it is. You're a dingo, aren't you? Look out for one another. So why are you behaving like this? He's right, isn't he? Anyway, you got your money back. Well, I still want to know why you did it. Just give us the truth or else. Oh, just shoot him, Sam. Oh, 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 just tell him. You know I can't. It's too dangerous. If we're in danger, then we need to know. All oh, right. OK. I'll... I'll tell you everything. Well, I tried to tell you all the truth before, but you didn't want to hear it. You'll think I'm lying. Just spit it out, will you? Or you can tell it to the police, cos I've had enough. Come on, Mandy. It's time for the truth. The old truth and nothing but the truth. OK. You know I had them casino chips. What you didn't know was that I was head of security for a chain of casinos from Southampton to Aberdeen. It was my job to keep an eye on everything, from the punters to the sticky-fingered staff. Vinny, well, he's a waste of space most of the time, but he's always been good at maths. It's his one and only party trick, card counting. Nobody knew he was my son, of course. He was just a very lucky boy. I'd make sure he went to different casinos and dealers and they'd always be there watching. Vinny's got one talent and one flaw. He can't resist a pretty voice. And he started showing off to this pretty young cocktail waitress. Told her he counted cards and how it was the perfect crime because I was his mother. And she told Terry, the casino owner, he wasn't happy. He wanted his money back. And fast. Or... Vinny was on a one-way trip to the abattoir. And I begged him. I begged Terry. He's my son. I love him. I'd do anything if you just let him live. Right, so this Terry we're on to you, then. But that's not all of it. Oh, hi, Myra. I promised Terry I'd pay him back every penny. And that's one of the reasons I came back to the village the first time. To put together a crew to pull off a robbery. Only I soon saw that you're not the crack team of thieves you once were. <laughs> so I lied. Told him that I was planning a job and I needed to wait for the right time for the maximum payday. Yeah, our only option was to rip off the casino again and then pay him back with his own money. He kept me working behind the bar where he could keep an eye on me. Of course, Vinny, we're bad for life. So I asked someone else to help me. Who? Just a mate. Lucky player number two. The Little Mermaid. Red to a mate. We went back a long way. I'd repositioned the cameras and Vinny was watching every move the dealer made and he was relaying it all to Red, telling her whether to stick or twist. I only prayed she'd stick to the plan, cos our Red does love to improvise. She can be a bit of a loose cannon, if truth be told. These boots are made for walking And that's just what they'll do One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you